Hello, people. Uh, wow, I'm just here to do a short video. I, I'm telling you, you look at the screen here, you can see what's been going on here in my area. A whole lot of thunderstorms today. We went out for a while and got drenched into a rainstorm and thunderstorms. And, and all on the news today, we've been hearing about some people going to the hospital from getting struck by lightning. Uh, so it's just been a, a crazy day. Yesterday I tried to do a video and I had some other difficulties, but I'm here back to just do a short video to show you guys that I'm still around, still look, looking and watching. Um, and the last time I was here, uh, we talked about, um, we talked about Yasha Ahaya with Marlene. Uh, we talked about the book. I know some people was asking me about the book. Uh, I will put a link in the description box uh, that Marlene sent me if you're interested in receiving that book. Um, I received mine from a gift. She gave me it to, she gave me mine as a gift. Okay, really wonderful gift. And also, um, I looked at Amazon. I looked at another Barnes & Noble, and it was two different prices. I know one was $50, one was $40. And the link that she gave me, you can get it for like $20. So I will put the link down in the description box if you're interested in that. And also in my research, uh, my research, I ran across this guy here from the word with Shep uh, Yasha Ahaya. I am Savia, a very good uh, video to listen to. And also I saw one that I'm familiar with and you guys are familiar with with him too. I saw uh, Stephen Denoon. And so I said, wow, Stephen Denoon, you believe that too? You know, I was like kind of excited. But anyway, it was interesting to have another confirmation and, and knowing that a lot of people have researched this thing about uh, the 12 tribes and also um, Ahaya and Yasha as being the father and the son. But, you know, I'm not going to make this a big thing. I'm still used to calling him Yeshua sometime. And like I said, he have many names. And one day when he come, he can tell us what name he prefer. But I just think it's very interesting information. So uh, I'm going to show, um, I'm going to play this real quick because I'm trying to test something out here too. But I'm going to play this real quick. And uh, and then I'm going to go over here to mirror not that the Lord is coming. And then I'm going to read Romans. Uh, I'm going to read Romans here um, before I get to mirror not the Lord is coming and make this a very short video because like I said, they got another storm moving in and I do not want to be interrupted. So I'm just going to do it this real quickly here today. Uh, so let me go here and uh, play this one really quick for you. And then I will come back and read Romans and then we'll end it with uh, Mirror Not the Lord is Coming. Okay, hold on a second. Um, the Lord just kind of drives me nuts because, and I, I want to put that out for you guys because I know so many people are so hooked on this. Oh my gosh, the man said, Thus saith the Lord. And he doesn't even know how to say the Lord's name. That's not, Thus saith the Lord. If you get a message from the Lord himself, then he will give you the ability to say his name. As he said to Moses, in fact, that's right where it is. Moses even says, they will say, all right, we're going to go there. Let me jump back over here. We'll keep messing with the mic when it's a lot easier to deal with. And again, just remind me where I left off at. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, Exodus. All right, what is it? Chapter 3, I believe it is, where Moses says this here. Let's run down here. Okay. Okay, uh, he said, I am thy God, the father of thy God of Abraham. And the Lord said, I've surely seen the affliction of my people, and I've come down to deliver them. I'm just jumping around quick. And now behold the cry of the children of Israel. Come now, therefore. Okay. All right. All right. And Moses said unto God, And who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, that I should bring uh, forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee. Excuse me. Get all those chas in there, and you get your tongue twisted there. Um, 
All right, and he said, certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I will have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, all right, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? They will say, what is his name? And the Lord says to Moses, This was the first place where Ko Amar the first place where thus saith the Lord was given to Moses himself when he says to them, this is what you will say to them. Kota Amar. See, thus you will say, live nay Yisrael to the sons of Israel or the children of Israel. And then these people run around saying, thus saith the Lord. Oh, please give me a break. And I don't mean to hurt people's feelings when I say that. Thank you again for reminding me. Go back to verse 11. Uh, Y'all are doing great. Appreciate that. But uh, it's just gotten completely out of hand. Uh, and I really believe that. And that's another thing. When God sends his prophet on the scene, it'll be, it'll be just like with Moses. Moses will say, they will ask me, what is your name? What am I to tell them? That's still a, a mess today in Israel. They don't know his name. You don't think they're not going to ask him? Now, I never found any place where Israel ever asked Moses, uh, oh, by the way, Mashimo, they didn't ask. Okay, people. I just thought that was interesting, but anyway... <laughs> I'm going to go over here and go to Romans, okay? It's been, it was on my mind uh, yesterday. Didn't get around to it, so I'm going to go there now and read from Mo, uh, meet, read from Romans. Uh, came to me the other morning along with Mary, not the Lord is coming, talking about the earth depopulated, and I will play that in the end. But, you know, we're having so many things going on, and uh, yesterday I had lined up all these things to share with you guys, so it didn't happen. But I will put it in the description box. I know I'm going to put some things in the description box from, uh, I know God Healer had a message out about the bridegroom comes at midnight, and uh, by uh, Benjamin, Bar Benjamin Faircloth, I'm sorry, a uh, message was on Dancing with the Devil yesterday, uh, very uh uplifting uh encouraging message about end times uh and i will put that in the description box if you haven't heard him yet uh also uh, some other articles uh we was talking about uh marcus rogers was talking about yesterday too i had played it on my video i didn't get to show it people i'm sorry uh he said he prayed to god for the for the rain on the parade they had when the uh LGBTQ was having a whatever the event they had uh, and it rained on the parade and he was so happy about it but you know we are not to laugh about these things we are in the end at the end and people need to be really understanding how soon it is before our savior arrive and that we need to be giving our life to messiah uh uh, uh giving our, our life to messiah uh yahiah uh uh you know yeshua uh Please get my fan off, please. <laughs> and uh, so I was uh, hoping that, uh, you know, wow. I I'm just saying there's so much happening, people. You know, I was trying to show you guys a picture. That's to show you how quickly Google and uh, YouTube is messing with our stuff. I don't know what's going on with them, but it was a guy named Keith Dalton yesterday he was unlawfully arrested for preaching the gospel in Ridgeland, Missouri, and I couldn't find the article. I go there to get it to pull it up today. It's gone. It's absolutely gone. 
but he was arrested because he was preaching at the uh, Barnes and Noble, I guess in a parking lot or somewhere, and he got arrested for that. I know right now a lot of policies are over a lot of businesses, and you have to kind of check out the policies. Uh, actually go inside and ask them, can you give out tracts or can you give out books or can you preach or whatever? Uh, they will arrest you now. So just be kind of careful if you're out doing ministry and you're giving out books or tracts or whatever. And I'm used to doing mine very, very discreetly, discreetly. And as the spirit lead me, I, I give books out to people individually as I'm in and out. Uh, which I love so much. And this is one I really think now that we really need to give out. War, economic collapse, tomorrow, decay as America headed for Armageddon. The perfect storm is coming. Oh, wow. Then I think about the perfect storm coming today when I was out looking at that thunderstorm. Oh, my goodness. Horrible things going to hit the earth. And, you know, a lot of people are saying they got all these storms planned. It's going to be massive storms, massive tornadoes, massive earthquakes, Massive, massive, uh, uh, like rainstorms and thunderstorms and hailstorms. And we got a, 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 a lunar eclipse coming tomorrow, the second. Uh, I don't think we're going to see it much here. Not lunar, solar. I'm sorry. Solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse. And we won't see it much here in America. But we got uh, all these things going on around us every day, every night, every day, every night. So we're going to have to just be praying and stand prayed up. I know over in the African nations, the devil is busy. Uh, these brothers out in the mission field trying to do missionary work and the devil attacking their stuff or stealing their equipment or whatever it may be. And uh, and, and now we just got to keep praying over our households. A lot of people getting sick. I never heard so many people sick in a long time. Uh, so, you know, in my ministry or who I know about personally. And so we need to just keep the blood over our doorposts and really be praying to uh, Yah Yahaya, uh, uh, you know, to uh, our Messiah, Yahaya. I love that so much. And so, you know, we need to be knowing that, he, I mean, he's our God and, and Yasha, Yasha or Yeshua is our, our uh, Savior. But we need to be really praying to him day and night to keep, to keep us, to keep us, to keep us, to keep us, because it's just the waters are being contaminated. Everything's attacked. Uh, the fish is now all in the waters, the sea waters. People getting sick. Uh, what's that disease that lady had and died from it? Uh, f flesh, the flesh, eating flesh eating bacteria. Yeah, it's affecting people. So if you're at the beaches or out and about, you know, in water, you better be very careful and pray to the Lord to guide you and direct you because there's just so much going on. So much is happening, people, every day, every hour, because we are in the end at the end. So let me go here and read from submission to the authorities. Um, Father, let your Holy Spirit cover me as I read your word to the people. I thank you so much for your love for me. Uh, thank you so much. Shalom. So it says here, uh, Romans 13, 1, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the audience of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. Okay, judgment on yourselves. If you know he said to do something and you're doing the opposite, you bring judgment on yourself. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good and you will have praise from the same. Do what is good and you will have praise from the same. Okay, Yeshua, he will bless you. Yahshua will bless you. For he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is God's minister and avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. And, you know, that's what's wrong with the world today. They want to practice evil. You know, all of us are human. All of us make mistakes. All of us sin. Uh, that's why he said, no, not one. Even the fathers told, even Yeshua himself, uh, Yahshua himself told the father, told the people, who are you calling good? Nobody is good except for the father. If he could say that, who are we? Who are we people? 
So he's saying here, if you want to execute wrath on yourself, go ahead and practice evil. Keep practicing evil. We, you know, a lot of people just love to practice evil. They don't want to stop from doing evil. They want to continue in sin and continuing in sin is just not the answer. We have to die daily. We have to come back father daily. Father, forgive me for doing this today. Forgive me for doing that today. I know every day I'm saying, father, forgive me. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness, father. Help me, you know, because he says the flesh is what? The flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So we got to understand how important that is, people. We must not continue in sin. We must not. We got to stop it today. We got to stop. I'm so tired of looking at the news and people locking up their babies in the hot cars and uh, 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 putting them in the ocean, uh, uh, putting them in the microwave, uh, uh, putting them in a, a, a dryer or whatever it may be, killing these little innocent babies who know no better. I just, I'm so tired of looking at it. Every day is happening. Every day, every hour, something on the news, something going on. We need to know not to continue in sin, to repent. You know, I, I, I have no excuses for women out there. No excuses for men out there who execute babies for no reason. Who, who, who just, uh, uh, just sodomizing kids and doing all these things they do. I have no sympathy for them. Now, I know my God does. He said to come into me, come into me, all that heaven... All that are heavy and, and, and need his his power, his love, his care. But you know, I, I don't I don't have no no pity for these people because they're supposed to know better. You know, when you get a certain age, you're supposed to know better. So I, I, I don't I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Let's go ahead and finish reading here. For he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, I'm going to read it over, be afraid. But if you do evil, be afraid, okay? Be afraid. You should be absolutely scared in your boots every time you do something. And you know that if the sun go down on you, you can die. You don't have to wake up the next morning. You don't have to uh, see life again. You don't have to. For he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is God's minister and avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. Therefore, you must be subject not only because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. And in the day, people don't even have a conscience about what they do. It's like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't matter. Oh, he should have he should have been out of the way. You know, he was in my way. Just go on the road and hit somebody and run over somebody. I think the other day somebody ran over a, a motorcyclist. Yeah, they ran over this, looking for this person right now. Run over a motorcyclist and leave him almost for dead and then just keep going. I mean, how can you, how, how can your conscience, you, you don't have a conscience when you do these things. You don't have a conscience when you do these kind of things. I'm sorry, you do not. You know, if you had a conscience, you would stop and ask the person, how are you doing? What can I do? How can I help you? Whatever. But we don't have conscience when we do these kind of things. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are God's ministers attending continuously to this very thing. Render, therefore, to all their due, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs fear, to whom fear, honor to whom honor. And it's to say, love one another. It's saying here already before I get to the love part, love one another. If you render, uh, therefore, to all what's due taxes, to whom taxes are due, and customs to whom uh, customs and fear, to whom fear, honor to whom honor, what are you doing? You respecting that person. You loving that person. Fulfilling the law through love. Owe no one anything except to love one another. There it is right there. For he who loves one another has fulfilled the law. We need to for love one another. And you notice there, it said fulfill the law. It didn't say the law was done away with. That's why I say everywhere I read in the Bible, it's all over the Bible, all over. New Testament, Old Testament. The love, 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 love one another, okay? For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, all are all summed up in this saying. Look at there. If there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor. That's what I'm saying. A person going to run over somebody on the road and leave them there to die. That is not love, okay? And Yeshua wants us to have love because he has love. 
He has love for all. Look at all the sins that this world is doing. You know, I, I ask myself this question every day. Me and my husband talk about this. Uh, how, if you know, if, if it was me, I, how can Yeshua? How can uh, Yahida? How how can how can he? How can wow? How can God put up with this much longer? How can he put up with this? How can he put up with this much longer? How can he put up with humans doing the things they do much longer? I don't think it's going to be much longer, people. That's why we have all these things coming together, all the, the, uh, the, 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 the elements of the earth. The, uh, the, the, everything is lashing out because of sin, because of all these abominations that we have doing before our God, before our King. You know, we need to know that Yeshua is soon to come. He is soon to come, people. Yasha is soon to come. Soon to come, soon to come. Okay. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this knowing the time that now it is high time. This is one of the most massive, uh, major scriptures read here, major verses read here in this scripture. And do this knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believe. Okay, when we first believe, I believe that I, I came to uh, I came to Christ back at 16 years old, so I'm here already in my 60s now. And so you tell me how long ago that's been. Okay, so it, we say uh, this is this message is coming from my father. He told me to talk about Revel Romans 13. Okay, so he's telling us today. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, this is for us today, right now. And do this knowing the time that now it is high time, high time people to wake out of sleep. Stop sleeping as a uh, uh, Byron Searle just had a message on it. Okay. They're still sleeping. They're still sleeping. Okay. So he's telling us it's high time to wake out of sleep for now. Our salvation is nearer than we first believed. When you first believe, when you just go and think about the time when you gave your life to the master way back when you gave your, your, your life and, and you, you received his Holy Spirit and came filled uh, uh, up with his power and, and his DNA. Remember your day back in the day, you might, it might've been years and years ago for you. It might've been a few years ago for you. I don't know. But now he's saying it's high time for us to wake out of sleep. For those of you who are still sleeping, a lot of you are still sleeping. For now, our salvation is nearer than when we first believed, because he's soon coming, people. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, that's what he's telling us today. That's why he wanted me to preach this today. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in rivalry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy. That's all that LGBTQ, I can't even say it. This homosexual acts, okay, is what I say. Because you sure, you go look in your Bible, you will see in uh, uh, Genesis 127, he created male and female. No other, I, no other, no other name, no other person. Okay. It, 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 where did their names come from? Wait, who do you think is putting these names out there? It ain't Yeshua. He didn't do it. It's not him. It's not Yasha. It's not Yahida. It's not uh, uh, him. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. People. He said male or female. And that's why I was looking at uh, uh, Marcus Rogers' video yesterday about uh, he prayed for the rain to take over the parade. Because, you know, we need to understand these people need conversion. They need to be converted. They need to be repenting. They need to be giving a life to Messiah right now because he's soon coming. So we need to be what? We need to be preaching. We need to be reaching. We need to be praying. We need to be out doing what we can while we can because the days are growing darker, darker. That's why he said, let theref therefore let us cast off the works of darkness. We need to be putting on the armor of light. Hallelujah. So it's time to shine your light. It's time to preach. It's time to reach. It's time to, it's time to give all what you can to the others out there searching, not knowing that their father made them male or female, letting them know that their father made them to have the opportunity to receive salvation, to receive eternal life. We need to be sounding the trumpet today, loudly. And I love Benjamin Faircloth's sermon. He talks about that too. So I definitely want you to go listen to his sermon uh, that he did yesterday. 
and I don't even know if I put the title down here or not, but it's a, it's a real good video and I will put it in the description box. But it says here, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ, it says, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust, his lust. We should not be allowing our flesh to take over our body, take over our mind, take over, our, 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 you know, our spiritual life. You know, we need to be really understanding how serious this is for you. He is really uh, trying to wake us up. He want us to, uh, Ahaya want us to come to Yasha, come to Yeshua and give our life totally to him. Surrender, surrender today. So it's time to surrender today, people. So I'm going to just stop right there and I'm going to go over here to Maranatha. The Lord is coming uh, and just close out this video because I don't want it to be a long video. But man, 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 we need to understand where we're headed here, people, where we're headed. I'm going to go ahead and click this out, mute this out again. October 25. The earth depopulated. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. Jeremiah 4, 23-25 At the coming of Christ, the wicked are blotted from the face of the whole earth, consumed with the spirit of his mouth and destroyed by the brightness of his glory. Christ takes his people to the city of God, and the earth is emptied of its inhabitants. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned. Isaiah 24, 1, 3, 5, and 6. The whole earth appears like a desolate wilderness. The ruins of cities and villages destroyed by the earthquake Uprooted trees, ragged rocks thrown out by the sea or torn out of the earth itself are scattered over its surface, while vast caverns mark the spot where the mountains have been rent from their foundations. Now the event takes place foreshadowed in the last solemn service of the Day of Atonement, when the ministration in the Holy of Holies had been completed and the sins of Israel had been removed from the sanctuary by virtue of the blood of the sin offering, then the scapegoat was presented alive before the Lord, and in the presence of the congregation the high priest confessed over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel and all their transgressions and all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat. Leviticus 16.21 In like manner, when the work of atonement in the heavenly sanctuary has been completed, then in the presence of God and heavenly angels and the host of the redeemed, the sins of God's people will be placed upon Satan. He will be declared guilty of all the evil which he has caused them to commit. Wow. Yep, I can't wait. I can't wait till that time come. I cannot wait, people. So uh, I'm going to end this video now. Um, I thank you guys for watching again. Uh, I really want to get back and do another full or vi video when I get the chance uh, trying to just allow these thunderstorms not to take over here too much. But uh, I really want to thank you for all the offerings coming in to help the homeless, the orphans, the widows, and those in need, the mission fields. Uh, may Yahweh uh, richly bless each and every one of you. Send offerings to marner.campbell at gmail.com at PayPal or uh, mail-in donations to fill my cup ministries, post office box 414. Canyon City, Colorado, and uh, and so I'm gonna just leave this here, uh, and uh, and hope you guys really have a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, day, and stay away from thunderstorms and lightning storms, and uh, making sure, uh, boy, I tell you, it's just horrible all over in different parts of the nations of uh, the country here. We having all kind of bad storms and weather, but make sure you uh, really check your weather before you hit the highways. 
as the 4th of July is approaching. I know a lot of people are going to be gathering in Washington, D.C. I think the president invited a bunch of people down. But I know I don't like hanging in crowds around the holiday. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to probably do something really quietly at my household uh, and expecting some family members to arrive, hopefully, safely, and praying for them on the, uh, as they arrive safely. Uh, so we ask that you, uh, Father, be with each and every one of the people watching today. We ask that you be with each and every one of us, Father, helping us to know the times we are living in, the times that, uh, that know that you are the man. You are the man who made all creations. You are the man who controlled the thunderstorms. You are the man who controlled the earthquakes. You are the one in control of it all, Father. We just ask that your Holy Spirit would touch the people, hearts, minds, and souls to give their life to you today. Let them know that time is absolutely running out. Uh, so we ask that you come and be with us today providing uh, the people needs according to your riches and glory and Yeshua HaMashiach, uh, uh, being with them in every way, uh, being with Yah uh, being with Yasha, our Savior, as well to be in the midst of it. And Father, we just know that you are the only high king. You the only one. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are our great Elohim. Oh, hallelujah. And we just thank you for being our God. We thank you for the knowledge and wisdom that people are learning in these end times. You say that knowledge would increase. You said that inventions would increase, but you say knowledge would increase. So we are learning different knowledges that we never heard before. But we ask that you keep us uh, uh, in your uh, bosom. Uh, we ask that you uh, uh, never leave us or forsake us. You said in your word, you never would leave us or forsake us. So we ask that you help us, Father, to know that you are the only one who can save us. Hinduism, Buddhism, Catholicism, atheism, uh, uh, all these things going on, uh, astrology, Scientology, uh, Allah, all these things, nobody's going to save us. None of these things can save us. Only your, oh, only your love, only your power living inside of us, your Holy Spirit living inside of us. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you so much for your care and your love for us. So we ask that you be with every man, woman, boy, girl in the prayer box, all the people, all the nations, uh, all the uh, things going on around the world right now. Death is on at every angle. Uh, we ask that you be with all the people facing death today and their families, uh, uh, protecting them, watching over them, helping them to uh, go through it, Father, to get them through it, Father, helping them. It's just so much to talk about on the news. You just too many things. Death is just all around us, all around us. We ask that you would help us, Father. Father, to help us not to die in our sins, help us to give our life to you where we won't die in our, our sins, but we will have uh, a home eternally with you uh, in the new Jerusalem, Father. Help us to be ready. Help us to be ready. So we thank you so much, and we ask all your blessings and uh, things in the mighty name uh, of, of your uh, son, Yasha, Yeshua. And so thank you so much, Father, for your care for us. We ask these blessings. Shalom, shalom. And I'm going to go now, people. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Uh, just according to the weather. I know tomorrow they told us we're supposed to have more uh, bad storms coming in. So uh, just be watching out in your area and putting the angels all around your area. You know, you can order your weather. I ordered my weather. I say, Father, please, I love the rain, but I don't want any any uh, snowstorm, uh, snow I don't want any hailstorms, no hailstorms. And so, you know, we had all this rain today. I mean, it was so heavy and heavy and and you would have thought it would have been hail coming, but we didn't get any hail, no hail in our area. So you can pray over your city, over your state, over your county people, uh, making sure you do that over your families every night, every day, uh, binding the enemy, binding the devil away from us. And right now, I think I am going to bind him right now before I close. I bind Satan and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. We bind all evil spirits on assignment against us in every way. Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit to cover your people, to cover us, to cover us. And we ask it in the mighty name of Yasha, Yeshua. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go now, people. You guys have a wonderful rest of Monday. And I'll see you guys on another video. Make sure you look in the description box for more updated news uh, and other things I always add to the uh, description box. Uh, please look in there uh, to see Benjamin Faircloth's sermon and different other things in there. So I'll see you guys in another video. I love you so much. Shalom.